everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to my cathedral garden. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you're here. A little bit about me, I'm a former teacher who is now a homeschooling mom to four kids. I will have a kid in fifth grade, third grade, first grade, and a four-year-old this year. And today we're going to be talking all about our morning menus for the month of August. So stick around. This video is in collaboration with Nina from Danina Farms here on YouTube. If you have not checked out her channel, make sure you go and do so. She talks about all things homeschooling, homesteading, homemaking. She also has four kids, two boys and two girls, except for her boys are her bookends and her girls are in the middle. And I am so excited to see today how we both use our morning menus. Okay, August is here, you guys. I cannot believe it. So let me show you what is in our morning menus for this month. But before that, I'm gonna link a card up here to my first morning menus video because that does have the story on why I started doing this. But to quickly recap that, I found um, at the beginning of our first year of homeschooling that I was not getting in those good, beautiful, enriching things that I was really wanting to get in because I was homeschooling. The things that they wouldn't get in a traditional school setting, such as poetry study, hymn study, nature study, art appreciation, stuff like that. Um, I, I always had good intentions and I would say, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it after, after we're done. But after we were done, it would be the afternoon and I was wiped out. And it was really bothering me that I was not doing this. So I knew I had to change something. And I remembered um, Elsie Ludicello from Farmhouse Schoolhouse. She's actually where I saw this first. And I thought that's such a good idea. She used menus to go through with her boys on things that they needed to memorize. And she did it just for the ease of keeping the papers clean. I think they do theirs at tea time. I decided I would like to do mine at breakfast because that's the time I saw that I could redeem during my day. So I ordered menus and I put stuff in there and we have never looked back. It is one of my very favorite times of the day. It's what we start our day with and it is awesome. So at the beginning of the year last year, I had all, my, all of my kids color the sheet I had really high hopes that I would change them out every season. That didn't happen, but there's always this year, you know? So um, I had them do that and then we open it up. And if you saw any of my other morning menus videos, you're gonna recognize this. This of course does not change. Um, this is the verse that we are using for just our homeschool in general. And it's just a reminder of why we are doing what we're doing, you know, think about the things that are true, just pure, lovely, honorable. This is what I really want to make sure happens. This is why I am homeschooling. So this um, paper right here, we already have memorized. We said it every day last year, but um, I didn't want to take it out yet because I don't need this, this slot. If I find that I want to add something, this will be what goes, but we do already have it memorized. I just like the fact that it makes us say it. So let me show you also really quickly how I have them stay on track with me. So everyone has their menus and then they'll open them up. And very rarely do my kids like to just keep them open with both sides like this. They will open them up and then they'll, you know, put them to where it looks like just one sheet. So when they open them, I tell, I tell them to open it and normally it's on the side that they don't need and I say okay flip it and I only use flip it whenever I need it to do like that not when they have to turn it okay so um, I'll show you what happens next on the next little side the next thing we will go to is our hymn and this is from happy hymnody once again if you have seen any of my other morning time videos and morning menu videos, you know how much I love Happy Hymnity. This is a mama that puts this out for free every month. Um, she is over on Instagram and her website is linked there as well. 
So you can download a free printable. She chooses a hymn each month and then um, we all sing it just together as a family. But you also know that there are other families all over that are singing and um, working on this exact same hymn, which is so great. I grew up singing hymns in my little itty bitty home church. And so it's very rare that we come across one that I haven't heard. This one I had not yet. Um, so this is a printable from them. Like I said, they are free. There is this with just the words. Then she has a couple of um, copy work worksheets that she does for free. And then the sheet music she has out there also free. Um, and so how we do this in our house, it's I'm not uh, musically inclined, is I find the uh, version on Spotify that I like best. And we will listen to that usually as my kids are chewing and eating breakfast, at least at the beginning, so we can hear the words. And then by the end of the month, we're all singing it together. Um, so she is just wonderful. Make sure you go and check them out. Uh, every once in a while, they will also put out a um, kind of like a bundle and it will have like the first quarter's worth of hymns or the first semester's worth of hymns. And um, it will have different things that go with that, such as a background of either the hymn or the author and uh, various other things. And that one you do have to pay for, but it's not expensive. It is well worth more than they are asking. So go check them out. You will not regret it. I love Happy Hymnity. This month's hymn is not what my hands have done. So I'm excited to work on one that I actually don't know yet. Okay, so we have opened it up. We've had it here. We flipped it. Now we have to turn it. And usually it's going to be on the wrong thing and flip it. So turn it and flip it. Okay, so the next thing I have here is our poem. And we will recite this next. The first week, I might be the only one reading it to them. And then I might have a kid read it or we might all recite it together. We just go along as the month progresses based on how they're doing. The, usually I... Um, just find a poem that correlates with the month that we are in or the season or something of that nature. But this, this month, I went ahead and used a bundle from Fresh Wonderings. I love her over on Instagram and she has a website you can go to freshwonderings.com and she has some morning time bundles. Now I'm only using two aspects of this bundle, but there is more, and I believe it was like $6.75. I want to make sure I tell you what all she has available. So there is a music thing, um, like you would listen to a composition, and it is The Soft West Wind. Um, there's also poetry, which we're doing, art, which I also have in here, a scripture. Um, and this one is uh, Taste and See That the Lord is Good. So you could print that out. There's a craft and a character study, and it is William McKinley, which was a president of the United States, and a recipe as well. And she gives you a simple guide on how to use them, as well as printables to go with each thing. So I strongly suggest if this kind of overwhelms you, start with her. And you don't even have to use all of it. Just use part of it like I'm doing. But here's our poem. And then here is the art. that we are doing and with in her bundle for August she has um, like she breaks it down kind of by week and gives you questions and things that um, you could ask if you are just like what do I do I don't know that's awesome it she she kind of takes the guesswork out for you so I really suggest this as a resource it's not expensive well worth it okay so we have our poet we have our poetry, we have our art, so we're going to turn the page. Next thing I have in here is our catechism question and answers. This is something I started doing uh, last year, the year before that. In this spot, we did Our 24 Family Ways by Sally and Clay Clarkson. This is just a place where we are going to go in depth and learning more about our faith either through character study or catechisms and that is basically just 
questions and answers, being able to defend your faith and know what you believe. So this question here, it's from the New City Catechism and the kids version of that, which is also a free app. I think I've said it on multiple morning time videos um, and morning menu videos. And there is a song that corresponds. It will say the question in a song and then say the answer. So I will ask the question and we will talk about the answer. We will sing the song that goes with it. And within that app, there are little bitty blurbs that tell you a little bit about where that came from. It also has a scripture that it's based off of. Is It was so good. So there will be like something from Spurgeon and then maybe something from Tim Keller. So I strongly recommend it. It is completely for you guys. Once again, I they do have, I know that they do have um, physical copies of books and things that you can get, but I just type these up. And so like number one says, can anyone keep the law of God perfectly? The answer is, since the fall, no human has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. And there is a song that you can play and it helps you just be able to memorize it. So catechism questions. I usually do one a week, but since we're starting school in the middle of August, I only put two on here. If the um, answer was a little bit longer or the question was a little bit longer, I would definitely stay on it until we kind of had it down a little more. So that is just my two cents. You can go as fast or as slow as you like. The last thing we have is calendar. And this calendar sheet was actually made by Nina from Danina Farms. And um, she did such a good job creating this. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. So at the top, we have all of the months. And I love that she added in the little graphics for the non-readers. And so I will have each of my kids have a dry erase marker and we will talk about how many months there, there are in a year, what month it is currently and what number month in the year that is. And they will, you know, highlight around that. They will fill in the date um, along with the corresponding day. So they are learning how to fill out a calendar. And then they have the weather down here where they will fill out what the weather is like that day. And then lastly, I kind of added this in. I have them write the date out um, in both forms. So in the long form, which would be like August 13th, 2021, 8, 13, 21. And we talk about how we get those dates. And I also just wanted them to know how to write a date because as yes, homeschoolers, we don't do that a lot. So I did want them to have some practice there. Okay, the last thing we have on the very back is our motto and once again this is something that stays the same i have not changed this it is based off the charlotte mason motto of i am i can i ought and i will i downloaded it from a website somewhere i have no idea where i cannot find the file that i downloaded on any computer i if I needed to have this again, I have to take this out and copy and scan it. If this looks familiar to you, please let me know because I would love to like give credit to whoever and wherever this came from and wherever I downloaded it because I cannot remember, but it's so great. It is, you know, I am a child of God. Let me see if I can get it. It's kind of focusing on me, isn't it? There we go. I am a child of God, a gift to my parents and my country. I am a person of great importance because God made me. And it goes on to, I can, I ought, I will. So we will start out the year and we will just say the first one and we will say it every day for a month. And hopefully by the end of that month, it's memorized. And then we will move on to the second one. So we would say the first one and start learning the second one. Once that one's done, we move on to the next one, say the first one, say the second one, start memorizing the third one. And these are just good affirmations and good ways of remembering um, what we are called to do, what we can do, what we ought to do. I love it so much. This is just so simple, so easy, you guys. It takes as little or as much time as you want. It can take 10 or 15 minutes, or it can go even longer if you have questions like from the catechism, uh, questions that stem off, or um, you 
um, something about art or you wanted to read something about uh, the artist that day. You know, do with it what you want, but um, it was so good and it was just a great way to redeem our time together. Thank you so much for collaborating with me today, Nina. You guys, this girl is such a gem. Uh, make sure that you go and check out her channel and subscribe. She is such a hard worker and I just enjoyed really getting to know her. We found each other through this space and now we talk almost daily. It's kind of crazy. So make sure to check out her. I will link everything I can down in the description box below, but if you um, have any other questions or need another link or something like that, don't hesitate to reach out either in the comments or by emailing me at mycathedralgarden at gmail or you can find me over on Instagram. I love getting to know y'all there. My handle is the exact same, My Cathedral Garden. You can DM me and I can try to help or get you whatever you need. Okay, you guys, I hope that you have an excellent start to your school year and that this has been helpful. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>